It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Okay, we're going to roll into our post-race uh, winning press conference here at the Dodge Challenger 500, our race winner, Kyle Busch, driver of the number 18, M&M's Indiana Jones Toyota uh, here at Darlington Raceway, and this is his third victory in 2008. He continues to be our points leader, and uh, this is his ninth career NASCAR Sprint Cup Series victory. With him, he's got his crew chief, Steve Addington. He's got J.D. Gibbs from Joe Gibbs Racing. And congratulations to this team. Terrific effort out there tonight. Kyle, talk about your win here at Darlington. It has to be special. It definitely is. You know, to win here at a place that's so hard, whether it's old asphalt, new asphalt, uh, the regular car, the new car, it's just unbelievable, you know, the way that this race goes about and the way that the, the things happen tonight. So. Fortunately for me, I've got a great race team with Joe Gibbs Racing and, of course, uh, Toyota Motors and, and all these guys, Steve Addington and Chris Gale and Jeff Price and everybody else, Wesley, and all the guys on the team that do such a great job in putting these things together every week. They build them as strong as they can for me because I like to knock the walls down with them. So uh, fortunately for me, I had one of those good pieces tonight, and, you know, we were able to come through for a win. But um, definitely uh, an up-and-down sort of race. You know, in the beginning there, we were battling with Biffle and, and got stuck behind lap traffic and got passed. And then, um, you know, we come in, tried making adjustments all night. Steve was making good calls on adjustments, trying to make the thing better. And, you know, we uh, dropped a lug nut there one time, fell back a little bit. But uh, we rebounded nicely with, again, good pit stops on pit road. And, um, you know, us just driving up through the field there. And fortunately, at the end, we had uh, the right strategy that got us out front and in clean air. Steve, uh, congratulations. Called a great race up there. It's got to be special uh, winning a race in a state you spent a lot of time in. It's, it's awesome to win in your home state, and uh, that was pretty big. I ran here, you know, in the Bush Series with uh, Jason Keller and ran second to Jeff Burton. I don't know how many times. So uh, come in here and to win a cup race here, and uh, it, it's, it's really big. It makes me feel good about it. Uh, this race team has really established itself here this season. Uh, your thoughts about uh, uh, what that 18 team is doing right now? Yeah, I think for us, just a huge encouragement when you kind of look back again. We talked about a couple of weeks, just we had, we had a long dry spell there with the 18, and that's kind of our, our baby we had, you know, 17 years ago. And so for us, it means a lot. It's a bit, it's a lot of fun to do it with M&Ms and still have interstate batteries on board and all those guys. And really just, to, you know, having Kyle and the way he works together with, the, with those crew guys, which a lot of people don't see off the track, is how close those guys are growing. That's, that's kind of a special deal. I will right, we'll take questions now for either Kyle, Steve, or J.D. Raise your hand. We'll get you the wireless mic. Questions downstairs for any of these three before we go upstairs. Any questions downstairs? Go ahead. Jerry Bunkowski, Yahoo Sports. Three real quick questions for you. One, how many times did you hit the wall? Two, uh, did you have a tear in your eye it had been pre-introductions? Somebody said that uh, they thought you know, when they were introducing your mother that you had a tear in your eye. And, and thirdly of all, What's with this bow? Um, well, how many times I hit the wall? I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four. Probably five or six. I hit the fence. But um, next question was tear in the eye. Sure. Um, it was for my mom. It's Mother's Day. What a great day. Um, can't wait for tomorrow. And then um, third question was about the bow. Um, I don't know. It's, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, uh, the good burnout, and then I, I can't get out of the car fast enough, man. Uh, I need to work on that. Good. But um, if it was on fire, I'd tell you what, I'd get out of there. But, um, you know, I get out of there, and then I'm up on top, and I appear, yay, and then I do a bow. Thank you very much. And then uh, I go on and have a nice day. Yeah, I, I try. Uh, I'm trying to get more smoke built up before I get out, but um, I'm working on it. It's good. It's okay, J.D. says, but 
What? <laughs> Whatever. No, he's not. All right, we'll go upstairs now for questions. I think we have some. Go ahead. Money that and Gaston is it. Kyle, being truthful now, when they boo the hell out of you, does it bother you one bit? Not really. I don't care. I'm here to race. I'm here to win. If I win, just makes them more upset and crying on their way home. Go ahead. We'll stay upstairs. Go ahead. David Paul Shaw Reserver for Kyle or Steve or anybody. Hey, what? hang on one second. By the way, somebody threw a beer can at me. Next time, just make sure it's full so I can enjoy it out there, all right? <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead, David. That's all right. What was the deal with the lug nuts and the glue and the, what was the issue and how did you get it resolved or did you get it resolved? What was happening there or do you not know yet? Uh, we're we're look, looking in to see if there if there's something, a bad date on a tube of, of glue or whatever. It's the first time it's happened all year. And the first stop, uh, the first couple of stops, I didn't even know it was happening. They never said anything and they didn't miss a beat. And then it started uh, falling off and they let, and they just left it because they, they thought they could get away with it and uh that's when it, when it was brought to my attention and uh i was pretty upset about it trying to i was thinking he's probably thinking we have lost this whole deal our, our pit crew's falling apart <laughs> and all that stuff but no there was an issue there and they're looking into it and we'll we'll get it resolved come back downstairs for question go ahead right here for steve and jd kyle is thriving in this in this being the villain and booing, but would you guys like to see him find a balance in accepting that and still continuing the streak? I've told you. I, I like the balance that he has. I mean, I don't have any problem with it. It's just that's the, everybody's got their opinion, and I mean, he comes in there and he fits in with our race team, and his personality fits with this race team, and that's all that I'm worried about. You know, that's we go out and. We get paid to do this, and this is what we love to do, and we're very passionate about it. And I think that's why he fits in with the group of guys that's on this 18 car, that they are very passionate about what they do. And he's the same way about his driving and wanting to win trophies. And I'll just say for us, really, when you, when you watch Kyle, I think you kind of look at history. We haven't been in it forever, but we've been doing this for 18 years. You always kind of have a guy that comes along. When you start to do well, there's an issue there. And over time, generally what you watch, you know, as the guys get older and, and – People kind of appreciate what they're doing on the on the track, and Kyle. Hey, Kyle's learning too. This is, you know, he's been a great driver for years. This is a lot of you know, attention that he hadn't had, you know, in years past. So I think he's, as he kind of learns and grows with that, I think we'll be in good shape. And that, that's just a matter of time, kind of taking care of itself. But he knows that we're behind him no matter what we have, and we're going to support him. And uh, and that goes that goes both ways too. So that's an encouraging thing. And speaking of Kyle, he becomes the youngest winner in the history of this racetrack. So. Congratulations on that accomplishment. We'll stay upstairs. Another question. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. That, that was my question. How does it feel to have that kind of accomplishment? Because usually people come in here and win this thing. They're the veterans, and, you know, here you are doing it at 23. Well, I mean, it, it means a lot. I mean, this racetrack, don't get me wrong, I don't know all the history and all the heritage of it, but um, I know there's a lot to it. And I know that uh, watching Carl Edwards' piece with, with Pearson there and, uh, and having the fun day that he had and then watching – you know, some of the highlights of the races here, I mean, uh, you've got Jeff's million, you've got Elliot's million, and then you've got races from beyond that time when they were still running around here at guardrail walls. And so it's kind of fun to watch those and see what the track was really like back in the heyday. But, you know, we're running around here so fast now that it's just uh, it's confusing. And, and, and so to me, it's, uh, it's just neat to be able to go around this place and, and remember all that and yet still be, um, you know, be able to become the winner tonight. And uh, it means a lot especially because it's Mother's Day weekend now, and, and, of course, my mom was here to be able to help celebrate with us, and, and uh, happy Mother's Day to her, and, and having Indiana Jones and M&Ms on board with us here this weekend, that was pretty cool, too. So uh, glad we could get a, a win for their special promotion they had going. 